guys, I figured I would do a special review on the lip exfoliator, followed up by a lip uh, with the lip liner and the natural um, matte lipstick pen I got. I'm out. If you watch my last video, you would know what I'm talking about. The whole video, a whole video on this kind of stuff. All right. So here we have the Elf Lip Exfoliator in the color clear. You can't see it. A little bit. I don't know. It's okay. It looks like that. Um, it smells like vanilla and coffee. It smells like a latte. That's what it smells like. They should call this latte. And it's clear with some brown specks in it. And we're going to try this out. So, it says you should have some kind of moist lip. I'm just gonna lick my lips to do that. And you want to put it on, I guess, like a lipstick? I'm guessing. So here you go. Uh huh. It's so lady, I can feel it. So, so dirty. There you go, up top. And then, it's actually a very nice feeling. Um, it doesn't hurt. Uh, it just it's feels like. Exfoliated. You actually eat it. I don't think it's the end of the world. Like, if it's on your lips, you eat it. Because I just did a little bit. And it's sweet. But it has a waxy feel to it. Sort of like if you were to eat Vaseline. Same kind of concept. Um. And then what you're supposed to do is you can rub your lips together to distribute the moisture of the product. Then what you're supposed to do is take something wet, a wet washcloth, a cotton swab. I'm going to use this towel because it's right here and I'm going to put it in the laundry anyways. And you wipe your lips off. Okay, that takes off all the grit of the exfoliant, and believe it or not, my lips are soft, they feel invigorated, they are really soft, I really like it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick lip, um, if you don't want to watch me do this, you can click off the video now. You do want to watch me do this? Stick around. So I'm gonna be using um, Elf Mineral Lip Liner in rose. So I'm gonna use the camera as my mirror. Going on pretty good. It does feel a little bit waxy, um, but it's not enough to take away from the color quality. 
as you can see, is my top lip. Is my and then I'm going to flip it a little bit. Just to keep the color on there. Then we're going to go to the bottom. And I'm going to go. Like so. I like, when I do my lips, I like to make my head do all the work. Just because, um, I do. So, I position the lip liner. Rotate my head and fill it in with it. Fill it in with it. Like that. And then I put my lips together just to distribute if there's any extra, extra, excess product. So there's the lip liner. And I'm going to take this e.l.f. matte lip color in the color natural and put it right on top. Now this is going to do one of two things. It'll mattify or it'll um, mute the color, the rose color, and give you a little bit of a darker outline which will make you look a little like a stereotypical Zola. Um, and it will also help to distribute the color evenly. It will and also if you do it just in the middle of your lips, it will create a highlight in your lipstick, it will make you look like you have a tune tone lipstick. We just leave the um, lip liner on the front part and just put this in the middle. It will give you a, a gradient type look. Okay. One more round of it. <laughs> and that would be my lip. My lip. I would do walk out the house. If you don't want it to be matte, you can always put a gloss over it. But the type of lipstick I'm using, or the color that I'm using, is a matte color. Um, let me get closer. You see the color? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like it. Um, it does age me a little bit. Uh, the color. But, I don't really care. I really don't. Um, and that's gonna be it. Uh, if you like this video, click push the like button. Comment down below if you want to. Um, and let me know if you want more looks. I'll do some more, some more, uh, make a look if you want them and until next time I will see you guys later bye